So take out your birth certificate. You're going to see your name in capital letters, and that is essentially a representation of a corporation of your name. Your name is now a corporation. And what is a corporation? Look up the word corporation. The word corpse. Corp is right in in the word. Yeah. Telling you it's dead. It's a dead All entity. Dead magic. I did a few of them sit on a ship on a commercial vessel. They're operating on the law of the sea. That's why police drive around a cruiser. A cruiser is a ship, and the line on the police car, the strike bow on the side of a police car, is representing the watermark as if they're driving around on the high sea. They know they're operating on different languages. They're speaking in a port tongue. They have legalese, and you're speaking in common law. And Admiral T. Law. That's what it is. People are waking up. They get it through psychotic. Like the they don't need to hire the ones that are saying psychotic. They show psychotic psychotic. Yeah. They don't hire decent cops. Anymore. There's a lot of good, good people yeah. caught up in the policing. They don't. They don't really know. They don't realize what kind of brotherhood they're getting into. They think they're there for the camaraderie of like having, you know, they're a part of something and they look after each other. They they got a support network. They have resources and equity. So you know, but. But the higher ups, they understand the secrets that are being kept from the lower ranks, yeah, they're, and they that's they keep them blinded. They never let these secrets. They're, they're they're closely guarded, and the biggest guarded secret of them all is the ladder plane and the holy grail in the center, and it's blowing out. That's where you. That's the door, where the lids are off. It's in the open. And that's that's our message to everyone. Is yeah, there's there an exit to get out of here. Gain access. If you're looking for something, this is it. This is it. If you want to be a part of something amazing, this is it. Hey, here we are in the flesh. Rejoicing. We're gonna have it on our team. Yeah, it's Thomas. Join us in blood so you don't die. Take your name out of the book of death. You're already in the book of death by evil. Yep. Yeah, stop dying. People, yep. stop dying. 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 Every day you wake up, Show your and you have to die. Mm -hmm. Time is moving forward. 8440, 8432. Time moving one direction, time moving in the other direction. You're on the flatter side of the plane where time is moving forward, and eventually you will get old. You can't. Yeah, you Tinnitus. Your grandparents probably, your great grandparents are probably already dead. They're gone. Huh? Had to go through all that bullshit. That's where you're gonna be. With your memories erased, not knowing anything, and you'll have to learn all over. And hopefully, the adults around you are smart enough to have listened to our message. Because I don't know, that don't make it while we're leaving the trail for you in your next life. Break back into you hell. I mean, I was born into a decent family, but hell, after if I die, I can be birthed back in down here on the corner of that track of the village. Right. And it, humanity is getting dumber and dumber. Okay, look at the movie Idiocracy. Mm -hmm. have, have you seen that movie, Idiocracy? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, look what dumb mm -hmm. everything gets, right? Mm -hmm. And people are gullible. They bought it. The media has control of their minds. People need to shut off their TVs. They've been told this 20 years ago. The conspiracy theorists have been telling you about chemtrails, override, your government's trying to kill you. Slowly. They're governing your mind. A person in hell that the Freemasons were the Illuminati control everything. Six corporations on your media. Six corporations control everything. Now we really think they had their opportunity. This is it. This is your like final call. We're hollering, shouting from the rooftops. Blood over intent is the way out. There is no other way out. You will remain in the land of dead, and you will die if you don't join us. But you don't have to like it. But you don't have to blood over intent. You better like it. It's your blood, your spirit, which is your spiritual currency, which is your essence, which is your life. If you don't have blood in your body, guess what happens? You die. No, that, that's Zionist doctrine. People are so fucking stupid. They'll do anything to like look around the real fact. You know? It's like that's Zionist doctrine because we were birthed in here from our mother. You know? It's like are you a fucking idiot? You're a Zionist doctrine, you fucking idiot. Put your blood up before you 
expire of your own stupidity. We're all here telling you this. How many more people you need to come in and tell you? And uh, eventually, enough are gonna pick up to where it's gonna affect you. So you better do it now. You know, and it's funny because. Yeah. That one, you put it on YouTube. That's why you put it on YouTube. You have to publish it. You have to show the universe that you are alive. Don't you know, worry and, and about I can see why people don't really care. You know, I can see why they don't care because they've been lied to and they know this. They don't want to hear about religion. They don't want to hear or talk about, G they don't want to talk about none of that shit. They don't want to talk about anything like that. They don't want to talk, they don't even want to hear this probably, but this is obviously the only thing that they should hear, that they should listen to. If they're not into any Jesus religions or if they're not into any beliefs uh, that there's a creator or if any of these things that we're telling them because it's like, you can't escape it. You're living for a reason. You're not just living here to get old and die. We're all experiencing these things. We all have feelings. We all have go through these emotions. We go through all of these things as, as how we feel them and how we see them and perceive them. You know, and, and it's up to us to start communicating, coming together, because you can't figure it all out on your own. Good luck. And we, we support each other. We're, we're not only sharing knowledge and information, but there's a ton of support. And it's incredible. It's family. One family. We're blessed with Satan's flesh. Right, the black hole too. Thank you. And be birthed out from our mother, just like you were birthed in through your mother. Yeah, every one of us was birthed in through our mother. We were all birthed in through our mother. And that's not a psyop. That's true. We were all birthed in through our mother. Each and every one of us. And we were going to be birthed out through our mother. It's the same thing. You're birthed in, you're birthed out. Like we are in the, the womb now, the womb of creation. This is it. It was just like how we got here. Same thing when we're leaving. Same thing. This concept has been flipped on you. They flipped this whole concept on everybody and they had to do it in a way, in such a way that it was like this. Otherwise they would have never gotten away with it. For this long. I mean, how, you know, they had to do- I fucking up some really cool pictures. How they were showing the uh, reflection in the moon. How you can see the shapes of the continents that the moon is reflecting the light. I'll have to see if I can get a couple screenshots of them or I'll post them in the chat later. But it's really amazing because it shows like hidden land masses. There's more land than they've ever told us about. The shape of the, the continents are kind of what they show us, but definitely not. And they're definitely hiding what's at the North Pole. <laughs> Which is your everlasting life. These four islands, Mount Maru, there's, there's clearly missing information from Google Earth. Right. A bunch of retards, little children being lied to about Santa Claus, Jesus, and the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy. Everything's a lie. Everything. They get your parents to lie to you. That breaks your trust when you're five, six, seven years old. Whenever you figure out Santa's real, that breaks your trust with your parents. Like, why would you lie to me? You know, like children, they have their hearts broken because of this trust. These are the people that care for you. They feed you. They do. You're helpless without your parents when you're an infant. Right. All they're doing, they, they get parents to lie to their own children, thinking it's this, you know, harmless fun, but it breaks these trust bonds, and, and you know, you can't, it's very hard to heal all these never-ending lies, it's, it's just one after another, after another, after another, so many lies, it's one little lie at a time layers into this, yeah, cult of death where you're being led to your grave, you're not being told about the Holy Grail, no one talks about it, the churches won't talk about it, the schools don't talk about it, universities don't talk about it, there's no way to hear it, blood over intent is your only hope, us, the 144,000, the other, we're talking about it, the others are the few channels that are still publishing videos, because this is the biggest, most amazing, revealing information you could possibly
constantly come across. This is talking about your eternal life. You and getting your eternal life. It's incredible. That's, you should want to know you're this. You're not going to get that on right. any. On, you're not going to see that anywhere. You're not going to see any news talking about this. No one in the churches is going to, is going to reveal this information. Tell live it. You're not going to hear it on the tell live it. They just show you in a, in a roundabout way everything is about a vortex and this, like, they sh but they're hiding in a plain sight. They, they show you one way and then they distract you with, with some love story or some drama. And we're not here to deceive you either. The they, they never really explain their drawings and diagrams. They show you the imagery. It's called sigil magic. They hide it in all their logos, like, you know, taking a bite out of the apple on the back of your apple. It's a vesica Pisces representing the cosmic yoni and mother earth's holy hole in the center of the flat earth plane. They're not, they don't explain anything to you. The Windows logo is showing you the four rivers in the center of the flat earth. It's on the start button. You need to start paying attention to the world around you. It's in everything, literally, but they they hide it, they don't explain it. They, you know, you're right, they won't get this information anywhere other than those who are selfless, the blood dick that are responsible of their eternal life. You can't ask these folks for a board either, because they, they don't have it. Only It's only here, it's only through blood over his head, and it's, you gain the knowledge and the wisdom right. of the age. And you, and you share it, you share it with your brethren. That's how we all build upon uh, the knowledge and the wisdom. We're not withholding any information back. We can't stop speaking about this. No. I mean, you, it's like... Yeah, it's unyielding. Our position is the black of the sun from a military standpoint. We're, fixed, we're stationary. It just, it never stops. It's unyielding. It's from the time you wake up the consciousness till the time you go to sleep. If you can even go to sleep, if you can close your eyes for a rest date, and, you know, like, no like sometimes I catch a few hours of sleep, I, I get tired like everybody else. But as soon as I wake up, as soon as I pop up my eyes, like I told you, sometimes I snap out of my dreams. Like I sometimes go places in the astral, my dreams, and sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I like, I snap out of, out of dreams and I'm, I'm, I'm like fully alert, like I'm awake, like I've already had like five coffees. I'm like fully alert, just like alarms are in my head. You gotta get to the center of the dish. Like it's about to happen now. Running out of time, the holy grail. Yeah, I can't stop thinking about it. It's enough to drive you near crazy, but <laughs> it's not crazy. It's that we're being given what we need to get out of here because we actually physically have to go do the holy grail in the flesh. We have to prepare for an exit. It's like a, we gotta, we gotta go there. It just goes to show that you're driven in, in, in the most beautiful way to help everyone get their eternal life. We just want to hear that that energy is running through you. And that's, that's you're back to life. You come back to life. You know, that's what happens when you, when you blood or intent. You're, you know, you're all... I've already been waking up for years. Like I, I'd already had like a like a Kundalini activation type experiences. So I was awake, but with missing information because the bladder was very carefully hidden from me. So I was in a really weird state of awakening because I was awake without understandings of where I was fully, and it was you know extra awkward because I was slightly confused with all the new age bullshit from the space pseudoscience, the gatekeepers right. that. You know, we're beginning to slowly tell us about the reptilian virus and the, the legal virus, but they they always kept it hidden to a globe from outer space and all this extraterrestrial. They, you know, they, like I said, they really worked hard to hide the flat earth and the whole grail, but it's over. The vault has been lost. The Vatican has lost the vault. They showed you in the reverse speech. The Pope himself in his reverse speech revealed to the world that the Vatican has lost the vault. Powerful information. The Vatican is one of the major power centers. They lost the biggest controllers. Of mm -hmm. That's where it all starts. Come on, get out of our will. Join us in blood. Publish, you know, message to the Pope. Join us in blood before you die. Message to the government. Join us in blood before you die. The politicians, the bankers, the priests. Join us in blood. There's no soul left behind.